Welcome back to another What's Sold in One Day video. I sold 19 items in one day. That's 12 on eBay, 5 on Poshmark, 1 on Mercari, and 1 on Depop. I will separate this into two different videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you do not miss the upcoming eBay video. And while you're at it, pound that notification bell to be notified when that video is released. Now let's get to What's Sold. On Poshmark, I sold a Fox Racing t-shirt. I paid $3.75 for this at the Goodwill. It sold within, well, it did take about 12 months to sell, but it sold for $16 on Poshmark, and my buyers on Poshmark do pay shipping. So my profit on the t-shirt was $5.49. I do pick up Fox Racing shirts for men and women. This is what that tag looks like. I found out that the Fox Racing shirts with the Fox head on them tend to sell better than the rest. Uh, this was not representative of that, however, um, I do have success with the men's Fox Racing shirts. Now with these odd color items, I do like to match them with a Crayola crayon. In this case, it matched the Crayola crayon melon out of the, the box. I do include that photograph as well as noting that in the description. If you like this reseller tip of matching the odd colors with a Crayola crayon, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That tells me that you like this kind of content and I will continue to make more of it. Also, while you're at it, subscribe to my channel for many more reseller tips and tricks. And the next item to sell on Poshmark was a pair of cinch denim jeans for men. These were 34 by 34, uh, the straight leg gray label. And what I mean by that is uh, since usually has a colored label on the front pocket, I've seen this called gray or silver, but I've also seen the tags in green and black as well. And I do believe buyers are searching for that specific color. So you do want to note that in your title. I paid $4.50 for these jeans. They sold for $40 within two weeks of listing. Again, the buyer paid shipping. My profit was $23.54 on this pair of men's jeans. The keywords to note in this one, I did include cinch, denim jeans, 34 by 34 men's. I also included 34 by 34 with the space straight leg gray label western and then this is the style code on the inner tag again i probably could have used silver instead of gray it's hard to say exactly what the buyers are shopping for and the next item to sell on poshmark was I actually picked this up for my son, however, he did not wear it. I paid $4.50 for this at the Goodwill. It sold for $30, my full asking price on Poshmark. My profit was $19.50. Now this was a nice uh, half zip windbreaker. This was just not his style, although he is a Chicago Bulls fan. This was reversible. Uh, embroidered detail on the front. Oh, I do believe it was nylon. And the profit I made on this was $19.50. The keywords to note on this one, I did include Chicago Bulls, pullover, sweatshirt. I included the keyword windbreaker. Every variation of the 2XL sizing. You never know what one is searching for. Jacket lined NBA and black. And the next time to sell on Poshmark was a pair of cool, this K-U-H-L hiking pants. These were size 12 short. I've had these since the end of 2022, and I do believe maybe the short size hindered the sale, but it was worth the wait. They did finally sell on Poshmark for $43. Uh, my profit on the pair of pants was $27.53. Now, Cool is an outdoor brand similar to Patagonia. So I do pick these up. They are 
are known for their hiking pants. Many of these pants are convertible where they will convert into shorts. The keywords to note on this pair of pants, cool hiking pants, 12 short. I also included 12S, outdoors cargo women's convertible roll up. The pant legs did roll up to form capris. And I included the keyword pockets as well. The next item to sell on Poshmark was an anthropology pencil skirt. Uh, this, I did include the stock photo. Uh, I know you're not supposed to use stock photos. I definitely do not use the stock photos on Macari or eBay, but sometimes I do leave them on Poshmark. Uh, this was um, kind of difficult to photograph. I simply laid it on the floor, but I wanted the shopper to get the visual of it on. So I did include the stock photo. I paid $3.75 for this at the Goodwill. It sold within one year of listing for $25. Again, the buyer did pay shipping, so my profit was $14.31. I do still pick up this Anthropology Maeve, I believe that's how you pronounce it, M-A-E-V-E -E brand. When I do find it, I don't find it that often. Uh, the keywords to note on this skirt, I did say Maeve Anthropology Maxi, pencil skirt, size small, striped, colorful side slit. It did have a pretty prominent slit up the side. I thought this would sell for a little bit more money. It was very colorful and uh, a pretty substantial piece being a maxi skirt. However, I had it for one year, so I was happy to see it go. And next we're gonna hop over to Macari. I sold another pair of Ariat trouser jeans. Uh, I paid $4.50 for this at the Goodwill. It sold on a best offer of $45. Now I do offer free shipping on Macari. Uh, back in the day when Macari increased their shipping charges, my sales tanked on Macari. So I went through each individual listing and offered free shipping. That did seem to spark the sales. So if something's not working for you in your business, don't keep doing the same thing. Uh, go ahead and change it up a bit. And in this case, free shipping on Macari works for me. My profit on this pair of jeans was $24.84 and they sold within two weeks of listing. The keywords to note on this one, Ariat Trouser Perfect Rise Denim Jeans Size 30R. I also spelled out 30 regular. This AW74 number is the style number on the inner tag. Uh, also in the inner tag, it did say Maggie and wide. So this pair of Ariat jeans did tell me the exact style name of the jeans, which I love. And next we'll hop over to Depop. I did start selling on Depop earlier this year. I would appreciate if you'd go over there and give me a follow. Follow me at depop.com slash piece of scrap. And I will have that link in the description below. I'm fairly new to that platform. However, I am making consistent sales. I picked up this uh, Taco Bell hat for $1 at the Goodwill. It sold within one month of listing for $25. I did accept an offer. Uh, my profit on the Taco Bell cap was $15.15. I do have good luck with this restaurant memorabilia. This was from their 61st anniversary. It was a limited edition. They did hats as well as shirts. I do actually still have the shirt for sale. But this was an interesting uh, cap. I've sold Chick-fil-A shirts before as well as McDonald's. So I thought I would try out Taco Bell and sure enough, it sold for $25. This is our assistant, Dolly. She likes to inspect the packages before I send them to the post office. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something new today, 
pound that like button. It's a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and it tells me that I am creating great content that you guys love. And I'm Zandra, Piece of Scrap on YouTube. Subscribe for more What Sold on eBay.